All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour, we are going to be uh, talking about some uh, words and phrases that we can use when we go to the dentist. All right, um, so we'll, uh, we'll uh, do a bit of reading, practice um, uh, some words that, uh, that, uh, that we can uh, say, okay? Um, and let's see, the link to the class, let me get that for you. Link to the class is right here. Okay, go ahead and open that up when you get a second. If you decide to come into class and hang out in uh, Google Chat, okay, I'll put the link there for you as well. All right. Now, the important thing when we're going through here, if uh, if you see any words that you don't understand, uh, please let me know. I can show you pictures. Uh, we can talk about it. I'll try and explain the word uh, as best as I can to you, so that uh, so that you understand it. So yeah, please uh, please ask me if you have any any questions about these words. All right. So let's see who we have in class so far. Uh, Rania, how are you? Rania, can you hear me okay? Ah, don't think so. All right, how about uh, Amparo? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Awesome, very good. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, how about Alberto? How are you? Fine, right, thank, you. thank you. Awesome, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. All right, how about uh, Rimas? How you doing? Okay, how about, uh, let's see, Laszlo, Laszlo, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. Hello, Chad. Hi there. All right, welcome back. And uh, Rania, Rania, can you hear me okay? Because I can hear you typing. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Polina, how are you? I'm doing good. Uh, make sure, uh, make sure that your mic is not muted, okay? Uh, so right now, I was, I read your lips and I saw that you said, "How, how you doing?" Um, so make sure that your mic is not muted. Uh, we need to. Let's see here. Let me show you what you can do. All right. So uh, if I can't hear you. All right, make sure you come up here to uh, to the microphone area. If this is red, all right, and if that's red, that means that I can't hear you, all right? And then uh, also check your settings right here, okay? You can choose your microphone or your speak, that, uh, that may help you out. Okay, um, what, is, uh, what is mean as some? Uh, I don't understand that, Elena. Uh, could you uh, explain what your your question is? Um, all right, you guys. Uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you all here. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, go ahead and open up the link that you have here uh, for the class. When you do, let's see. When you do, this is what you'll see. Okay, and I want to uh, scroll down and take a look at our vocabulary words first. Okay, so we're going to scroll down past page one, past page two. All right, and uh, go to page number ten, uh, not ten, <laughs> page number three. There's ten vocabulary words here. Jeez. All right, so uh, let's talk about uh, uh, some of these words and, and objects and things that you may see inside of a dentist office. Okay, um, so the object here, I want you to, let's see, yep, yeah, okay, so I want you to read the word on the left and match it to its definition here on the right. Now, the, uh, the definition is not right across from the word, okay, we'll need to find it. If you don't know, then uh, we'll open it up to the class, all right, see if someone else in class may know. 
All right, and then um, and then uh, if no one knows what it is, we'll take a look at some pictures, and I'll try and help you guys understand what it is. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's take a take a look here. Let's start off with Alberto. All right. Uh, please read number one and uh, tell me which definition you believe matches with number one. X-ray. I think it's uh, in in the same uh, line. <laughs> a picture of the inside uh, of your body. Okay, it is actually on this one. <laughs> All right. Yeah, right across. So a picture of the. Yeah, a picture of the inside of your body. Okay, so uh, an X-ray. I believe this word is the same in most uh, uh, most languages. Okay. Yeah. Sure. When you get your uh, your teeth X-rayed. Okay, this is what it looks like. Comes out and it looks like this. So you're looking at your teeth, mm -hmm. just like this. Okay, so this would be an X-ray. All right, very good. Let's go to number two, and this is for Amparo. Floss. Okay, um, floss. Make sure that's the double S sound. Floss. Floss. There you go. Okay, and what uh, what do you believe floss is? See to clean between your teeth. Okay, good. All right. Now, um, do you know what? Uh, 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 f uh, now this is to floss. Okay, so and that would be to clean between your teeth. Now, um, floss itself, uh, you could call it dental floss or um, floss. Okay, either way, it's actually an object as well. Okay, so let's. Uh, uh, let's take a look here, you guys. All right, so I didn't want to do that. So, uh, flossing your. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, goodness, you guys. It's been a morning. And my computer's being funny. All right, so, flossing your. All right, so this uh, string that she's using here, or uh, um, you know, it's not really string. It's it's called dental floss, right? It's kind of like string, I guess. But yeah, you put it uh, you put it between your teeth, and that action we call floss. Okay, so you, we clean we clean between our teeth using this dental floss. Okay, this can either be called floss or dental floss. All right, that's what that is. All right. But to, so to, yes, teacher. Yes. But, but to floss is a, a verb too. Yes, to floss is a verb, but you can also call it's. It can also be used as a noun. You could yeah. say uh, so. For example, Alberto, if me, me, sorry, you and I. Um, uh, we're sharing an apartment. Okay, we're buddies. We're living wherever. Okay, and we're sharing an apartment, two-bedroom apartment with uh, with one bathroom. All right, and we're getting ready to go go to work in the morning. And I could say, Hey, Alberto, can you pass me the uh, floss? Okay, mm -hmm. and that and and I mean the dental floss. Okay, so the, it also can be used as a noun. But yes, here in this instance. Okay, it is uh, the definition is uh, is to clean. So they are using it as a verb, to floss. But to clean the tooth, the teeth uh, with a string only. Uh, yes. That's the meaning. Well, exactly yes. the meaning. Exactly. Sure. Yep. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to last Laszlo. Uh, yes, toothpaste. Okay, that would be pronounced toothpaste. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, use to brush your teeth. All right, so use D. to brush your teeth. So D here. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's probably... Okay, yeah, so I was looking for a toothbrush as well in there. They, they would say that would be used to brush your teeth. So yeah, toothpaste. Okay, um, for those of you who are not familiar what toothpaste would be, Okay, this here is toothpaste. Toothpaste. This is what we call that in English, toothpaste. Okay? 
Very good. Um, number five. Oh, sorry. Number four. Uh, number four is for uh, Polina. Oh, it's fluoride. Good, good. Fluoride. Excellent pronunciation. Fluoride. Uh -huh. And what would yes. fluoride be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's uh, used for deep cleaning at the dentist office. No. Okay. Yeah. So we would we we could use that for deep cleaning. Okay. Um, let's see what we've got. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, that would make uh, most uh, most sense. So used for deep cleaning. All right. So uh, fluoride is uh, is a liquid. Okay. Um, so if you've gone to the dentist before, okay, and they put a liquid in your mouth. Okay, yeah, it's a chemical product. All right, they put a liquid in your mouth. They say rinse. Okay, or so do this. Okay, so you swish it around your mouth, but do not swallow. Okay, you don't want to. Okay, it's a liquid that you do not want to swallow. Okay, so they give that to you. It strengthens strengthens your teeth. All right, and it helps to clean uh, clean out uh, bad things. All right, that's called fluoride, but you do not swallow it. Okay, um, very good, nice job. Let's go to Rimas. Yes. All right, uh, Rimas, let me have you take a look at uh, number five, please. Uh, braces. Okay, that would be pronounced braces. Braces, yes. Okay, what uh, are braces? I think is, uh, the meaning is uh, worn to straighten the teeth. Okay, so worn to straighten. Okay, so worn to straighten the teeth. Try that again. Worn to straighten the teeth. Good, good. All right, so let's take a look at braces, you guys. Okay, here we go. So uh, these here. Okay, on the teeth, okay, those are called braces. All right, um, yeah, and there's all different kinds. You can get all different colors, okay, but yeah, braces. All right, that's what, uh, that's what those are called. Um, is there anybody in class that has gotten braces before? Nope. Nope. Okay, I, I got braces when I was younger because in my family we have really 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 bad teeth uh, my dad had braces um, and he got them when, when it was the big headset okay and so he had to wear this big thing on his head all right to straighten out his teeth he said he looked funny um, but uh, yeah he had that when he was in Germany Okay, so he had he had big braces because his teeth came in and they were all uh, crooked and things like that. Um, my son will probably need to get uh, braces, um, but my wife my wife has perfect teeth. Okay, <laughs> completely perfect, no issues, uh, no issues at all. Does not need any. I mean, huh, no cavities. No, I mean, just absolutely perfect teeth. It's amazing. I had amazing. braces too. Oh, you had braces, Paulina. Yes, I had an overbite. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, my teeth, okay, um, they had spaces. So I had a lot of spaces and one was long and it was just, it was just bad. It was really bad looking. So yeah, I got uh, braces when I was younger. And uh, when, uh, remember Paul, Paulina, the uh, feeling that you get after you take the braces off, they feel kind of slimy, all right? That's, uh, that's how it is, it's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, okay, good. Thank you, Rimas. Let's go to uh, Ido. Ido, how are you? Ido, Ido. Air, air. Okay, uh, let's go to Alberto. Yes. Alberto, let me have you take a look at uh, number six, please. Ah. Okay, number six. Hello? Yeah, number six. Chad. Uh, 
I don't know, I don't know. Uh, the meaning is uh, about a map. Uh, uh, let's see here, a chart, okay, uh, a, your chart will be your dental records, uh -huh. okay, um, so yeah, give me one second here, Ido, uh, yes, I could hear you for a second, but there are times, Ido, when you turn on your microphone that it comes in really loud, there's a really loud buzz, okay, so make sure that you have it uh, plugged in securely, okay, all right, now, um, so sometimes um, they'll say, uh, let's take a look at your chart. Okay, so let's take a look at your chart. And, and that would mean, let's look at your dental records. Okay, um, your, the receptionist say, I, I, I'll need to pull your chart. Okay, or your records. Okay, whenever they say chart, those are your dental records, your your history, your dental history. Okay, so what cavities you had, things like that. And so it's a chart, and it lists the uh, the work that you've had done on your teeth. Okay. I know. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's try Ido one more time. Ido, uh, try your microphone one more time, man. Okay, uh, how about uh, Amparo? Amparo, number seven, please. Hygienist. Okay, that would be hygienist. Hygienist. Mm -hmm. oh, a dental assistant. <laughs> yeah, right across the way. <laughs> yeah. So we've had two lucky ones this time. <laughs> All right, yeah, so um, the, uh, the person, so like um, doctors, Doctors have uh, have nurses, right? Okay, doctors have nurses. Uh, dent uh, dentists have hygienists. They have. Uh, uh Teacher, we can hear you. Here is off. Where is our teacher? Uh, he's uh, off, but he's coming back. I hope. 